Now, the United Nations has called for an urgent investigation into a report that Thailand's immigration officials sold Myanmar's Rohingya Muslims to human traffickers. An investigation published on Thursday revealed that Myanmar's Rohingya refugees had been removed from Thailand's detention centers and transported across the country south. Then they were held hostage in camps hidden near the border with Malaysia until their relatives pay ransom to release them. Rohingyas who couldn't pay had been delivered to human trafficking rings. Muslims from Myanmar's Rakhine state are usually forced to take refuge in other countries in an effort to escape the ongoing violence at the hands of majority Buddhists in their homeland. Let's go to Washington and talk to Dr. Randy Short, a human rights, human rights activist. Welcome, sir. Uh, Dr. Short, first of all, uh, tell us more about the fact that uh, why should such a thing happen, first of all? You know, it, let's be honest. This is a marginalized Muslim population. Uh, we understand that now that Western countries can go into Burma and cut deals, this happens in other countries that open themselves up to economic exploitation by the West, that people are willing to look the other way as people are exterminated or pushed off the land. After all, this is what made America, America, and Australia, Australia, New Zealand, New Zealand, and Canada, Canada, and Argentina. We can go on and on. And uh, it is disgusting, but it's showing that these people who are being made stateless don't have anyone to fight for them. And this is what you can see. It's even more tragic that the same UN that's speaking about this is turning its head the other way when in Bangladesh they're using deadly depo provera to eliminate the Rohingyas in a more quiet and silent way. So it's as if they're a population that they want to get rid of and they are, they are eugenicists and other people who feel that they're expendable black, brown, yellow, Muslim and African people and the Rohingyas seem to be on a list that's unworthy of mercy or human rights in spite of the existing declaration of human rights. And thus far you have rich societies like Saudi Arabia and Qatar that have money for takfiris to murder people in Syria or to look the other way when people are murdered in Bahrain and yet there are no resources for these Muslims in, in Burma and uh, eugenics and exploitation just as what happens with my African American people here or the Palestinians in Gaza. This is another population that seems to be used or thrown away by a world that's forgotten God, love, justice, and mercy. And it's a human right and a birthright for all people, it's in particular people like the Rohingya, or else religion, morality, and international human rights law has no value if it doesn't apply to people like the Rohingyas. Right. And speaking of human rights, will there be any accountability for such human rights violations? Well, we have to make people accountable. We need to have sanctions and boycotts against companies that deal with Burma. We, we need to go after Thailand. I mean, the, these countries, it's amazing. Sanctions seem to only be applied to countries that want to do the right thing, like yours. And the other rogue countries, as long as they're willing to be slaves that kiss the buttocks of the West, they're allowed to do things like what's being done to our brothers and sisters that are known as Rohingyas in Southeast Asia. Dr. Randy Short, human rights activist in Washington, has always thanks your thoughts, sir.